Hello everyone. Today we're looking at my bat in Unreal Engine. Uh, this is a new update. Comes with a new uh, AI system. Uh, we can look, take a quick look at that. We'll jump into the AI map before we get started here. And the bats uh, will fly into in the air on a spline path that you can adjust and they will also land on the ground and land in a tree or in a cave so you have a bunch of different options and they'll randomly go between all those different things see here we have a ground point that it can land on we have a branch it could land on, and we have, a, if you want to use it in a cave, you could use the cave option. All right, so let's jump into the animation map real quick. It has all the different animations for the bat. Flying, hanging, Hovering, gliding, walking, all the different animations. And then if we uh, jump into the folders here, we have the animation uh, folder, which we'll jump into in a minute. Same with the blueprints. And the maps, we looked at both of them now, the AI map and the animation map. We have a material folder, PBR material. Um, and the mesh, we can look at the advanced physics if you want to use this. And let's simulate it. What am I doing here? Here we go. Pick them up, toss them around. And a skeleton, of course. Uh, textures, no, uh, base color, normal map, and roughness. Now the animation. Now we have a blend space for the animation. Kind of just handles what happens when the bat is on the ground. We have a dead animation. Then we have a dead falling falling down through the sky and then dead if he dies on the ground or death there we have flying biting while he's flying flying left flying right flying up and flying down then we have a gliding animation, a hanging animation, hang on a wall, a hovering animation, and we have an idle for when he's on the ground, a few idles, he kind of looks around. Now this is how the landing animation when he goes into um, sleeping. Oops. Here's a normal landing animation for him. And then there's a normal takeoff and a takeoff from the hanging. And we have turning left while he's on the ground and turning right while he's on the ground and walking. So that's all the animation. And now we can jump into the AI system. If we click on the blueprints folder, we have an animation blueprint, which I can show you here has all the different animations for the bat 
and all the different transitions that the bat needs in between all the different animations. And you could use this animation blueprint to create your own AI for the, for the bat. So that's the animation blueprint. The normal blueprint has all of the logic for the bat. And it makes a bunch of decisions on what it should do. And it will roam around on the ground. It has a bunch of animations in the branch idle if it hangs from a tree. It has um, a cave idle where it hangs from the ceiling of a cave. Then we have how it handles damage. Uh, detection is uh, eyesight. And then we have hit a hit check and revive because you can kill them uh, takeoff animation what it does when it takes off while it's in the air while what it does and then landing and then when it gets to the ground it changes over uh, landing on a branch is slightly different and what it does on the branch and we have uh, landing for the cave and when you're in a cave and then what it does when it hangs from the cave. So this is all the logic. It has a bunch of different options that you could turn off if you're like prototyping and you don't want to use the site options because they react to seeing things. So you could turn that off. You could turn uh, dying off, the death off. Uh, you could have it so it never goes to the ground ever could turn that off you could turn the cave option landing option off or the branch landing option off or you could say I only want it to fly and that's it and what else um, AI perception here you can change the uh, sight distance the radius how far they can see so you can change that if you need to so that's the blueprint and then I have a third option which is the bat MPC okay and this one is fully coded to move around you can drag into the scene and if you look at one of the ones I already have placed um, he has a he comes with a landing point you can move that around you could move it around in the scene if you wanted to to wherever you need the landing point to be then we have a spline that you can edit. So you can edit the spline to be however you want it to be. Or however you need it. You could raise and lower it also. Um, let's see. Yeah. So you could raise and lower that spline. And then we have a branch that also comes in with it and you can move this around to match a branch in your scene and then at the very top we have the cave landing point so this is if you want the bats in the cave and then you could put this at the ceiling of the cave and they would fly up here and land and hang in the cave at certain times so that's a look at how that all works. I can turn this on and we have a bunch of bats on the ground taking off. And they'll just fly around along their spline. And like I said, you can interact with them. You can knock them right out of the sky. There, I just knocked and killed one while it was in the sky. I'll wait for one of them to land here in a second. And you can adjust how long they fly for. This one has landed at his cave, at his cave point, and I can jump up on him and knock him off and kill him. And some of them might be hanging. But that's a quick look at the bats in 
my bat in Unreal Engine. You should be able to see me. <laughs> Hanging from the ceiling. But that's a look at my bats in Unreal Engine. Have a good one, everyone.